we are with meditation, maybe if we do too long meditation, more than one hour meditation, maybe everybody will be sleeping <laughs> after a big snoring altogether. <laughs> so this way, I think too long, too long meditation. Also, if I only explain meditation for more than one hour, maybe you will be sleeping also. So it's better we do both together. You know, we do a little bit practice and a little bit explanation. But we don't have time to explain really in detail, but just a little bit. Because uh, nowadays, many people are interested in meditation, but we have uh, not too much like uh, knowledge or instruction about meditation. For example, in the school, I don't think now we have course, we have uh, English course, mathematics and geography, but not meditation. <laughs> Not course how to be happy also. <laughs> all, do, all we do in life is to be happy, but we don't have course how to be happy. So, but actually Buddhist teaching is about how to be happy. This is the meaning of life, to be happy. And Buddha's teaching is how to progress, how to uh, transform our mind positively to be happy. So one of this process we call meditation. So that's the goal of Buddhist philosophy, okay? Some people, sometimes they're not too much familiar, they just see Buddhist temple with something like that monk and the Buddhist statue so they say oh this is religion you know they say uh, something not my religion I don't go there okay example okay but Buddha's teaching is not like that Buddha's teaching is about cultivating inner wisdom like inner strength like positive thinking calming the mind mindfulness like that so this Buddhist teaching is really uh, relevant nowadays because nowadays we have a lot of technology we have lots of uh, material development, but internal development is <laughs> a little bit low. <laughs> Sometimes we have big thing outside, inside we don't know how to be happy. So this uh, Buddhist teaching, I think nowadays really appropriate. 2000 years ago appropriate, but nowadays maybe more, even more appropriate. So like that, I will just share a little bit with you. So uh, maybe just to begin, we just start together, we do a short meditation, okay? So I will explain after. But if you are used to do meditation, you can do as usual. If you are not used, so you can try to focus your mind, your attention on your breath, okay? So I think everybody, you bring your breath with you, it's okay? Sometimes <laughs> we forget your phone. I forgot my phone actually in my car, so I just think I get my phone. <laughs> Sometimes we get the, forget the phone, forget the key, but breathe, we never forget, I hope. <laughs> so this way, you can use your breath. You can use your breath as a very exceptional tool, like a very relevant, very helpful tool to focus your mind and attention. As you know, sometimes our mind is not the way we like, you know? We like to be calm and happy. Example, at night, we like to sleep well, but sometimes we call monkey mind. Or I don't know, in Quebec people call hamster. We have something inside, not too much calm, you know? Always thinking about the past and future, something like that. So, like that, a way to calm this kind of monkey mind or hamster mind, we try to um, make him busy. Busy with something peaceful. So your breath is natural, your breath is regular, so when you focus on your breath, you're not activating like some kind of thinking about the future and the past. That's what makes the mind agitated and with lots of example, develop anxiety, worry, or some kind of uh, negative emotion, too much anger, jealousy, all these things, they come from uh, uh, we call like unconscious mind or sometimes mind is not enough like pacified. So what technique we use to pacify? We use the breath. You understand? Like bread is very uh, easily accessible 